Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Stuart Meacham. On this episode, I'm going to show you using Final Cut Express, same as Final Cut Pro, how to do this. Hello, I'm Stuart II. How do you do? Uh, it's one of two ways we can um, do this, talk to yourself. Is either, as I'm doing it here, it's just cropped, as you can see, my arms disappearing, cropped, sort of there ish. Um, which in Final Cut Pro you lay both your video tracks one on top of each other and simply go to the crop on both of them and obviously centre your point. Um, but obviously the problem you can get is um, things like that happening or the balance, the light's not right or you can see the joint or if you're wandering around the camera's going to shake and obviously the two shots are be slightly different. Um, which is fine if you just want to do a home movie um, just to you know, impress friends or whatever or just basically for something to do or the other ways I do it is if you're fortunate like me have a green screen you can get this effect hello I'm Stuart number one hello I'm Stuart number two I'm Stuart number three hello, hello. Okay, within Final Cut Express, um, the easiest way I did this was to film myself, obviously saying hi, I'm Stuart 1, hi, I'm Stuart 2, hi, I'm Stuart 3, 3. Um, but I did it all in the same spot. I didn't move around the screen like you would do if you're just doing a basic crop with um, two different videos. The first thing I did was just film the background with nothing in it um, for 20, 30 seconds or however long your clip's going to be. And again, just film myself in front of the green screen on the same point for all of them okay as you can see from our canvas you can see the outline of the green screen I used um, if you want to know how to key out a green screen I did a video um, just search for that under my username and obviously watch that I'll give you all pointers okay so the first thing we want to do is crop out all the areas that we're not going to use so we select the first track make sure the pointer on the playhead is playing over the background and just on this one track the simple way, as I've shown you before, it's just a case of going to your motion, then cropping to a point that you know that you're not going to move outside that box, otherwise you're going to trim yourself, an example like that. Okay, um, there's one or two ways you can either go through all the videos and do that, or as I like to do, once you set up your chroma key, um, obviously in this one I've just slightly adjusted the lighting and contrast etc. Um, I've done this video very very roughly so you're going to notice it a mile off but obviously you're going to spend some time doing that instead of trying to reproduce the same on all the tracks is a simple case of right click on the first track which you've done all the filters on you're going to copy that track and double click to the next track and we're going to go to paste attributes and obviously what you're going to use is the crop obviously I've already um, keyed out all um, but on your case you'd also add the filters as well and we're going to do that for each each one. Okay, as you can see, unfortunately, there's going to be three of me stood behind one another, and that's clearly not the effect that we're going to want. Um, so what we do now is just point the head to the um, second part where I'm saying hi, I'm Stuart too. We're going to double click it. You can see up here it's brought up a box, obviously with it all cropped, and I'm obviously going to move that to where I pretty much want it to be say for there for an example sake and the same for obviously um, the third track again making sure your head's playing over it so you can see within the um, canvas and we're going to move that one slightly so pretty much to give you this effect hello I'm Stuart number one hello I'm Stuart number two I'm Stuart no okay as you can see it is pretty much as simple as that obviously you're going to want to play around with your lighting um, when you're filming you also you want to play around with your color correction and brightness and contrast when you bring the clips in because you don't want them to obviously look completely unrealistic okay i hope you enjoyed this episode uh, what i will say is i'm not a professional i've not been professionally trained on any of these apple products this is purely on my own experience and learning to use it for myself what i do suggest is if you have had professional advice from an apple trained technician obviously follow their advice over mine um, if you're not sure, you can always email me on the email coming up on the screen now, or you can go to the Apple support forums, which is www.apple.com forward slash support, and then navigate your way through to the discussions forum.